Alright, we're here with Rob from Nonpoint. What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, we're here um, with on the current tour. What is, tell us about the current tour that you guys are on right now. Uh, it's called the uh, Most Wanted Tour, which is sponsored by CageRattle.com. It's, uh, let me get this right, it's an internet radio <laughs> station that has been promoting this tour, and we're out with the XE's Deep Field and Under the Flood. Uh, this is our fourth show, so it's still brand new. Uh, all the shows have been pretty cool so far, so we're looking forward to playing here tonight in Orlando. Awesome. And you guys are still touring off your last uh, album they just released, Vengeance. Yes, it came out last November, and we'll probably be touring on it till probably to the end of this year. And you know, unless plans change, it might tour for you know longer than that. But as of now, until the December. Awesome. What can people expect from the new album? They haven't heard it yet. I um, mean, there's there's more melody, there's more song structures, you know, than before it's just basically whatever we felt like writing wasn't like a certain plan it's just whatever came out you know mm -hmm. if you dig it you dig it if you don't then sorry <laughs> <laughs> and uh you guys are from the south florida music scene which was really strong in the late 90s mm -hmm. um how does it feel like how the music scene has changed down there and you guys basically being the only band that's still uh, around well i was the music scene is no longer down there because there is no music scene down there there's i can't even mention one local band that's playing right mm -hmm. now and after we got signed, I mean, we have bands like Groove Next, Darwin's, and uh, Endo got signed, but for some reason or another, they didn't stick. And been very lucky and fortunate to be to continue. I think we're the only band outside of probably Marilyn Manson that's still doing anything. And mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't be more luckier. I mean, I can't complain. So, but as far as the scene down there, there's really there's really nowhere for bands to play where. Back in the early, you know, late 90s, we had like quite a few clubs where we frequent every weekend, but now there's just no, nowhere to play. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know where a local band plays down there anymore. Um, and question for Mandy. What was your favorite venue back then? What's your favorite venue now, down south? Did she, uh, did she, did she guess? Did she guess? I know what it is. Foo Bar? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, I like the Foo Bar. I also enjoy playing shows at the Button South. Mm -hmm. I did not j enjoy playing at Club Q. <laughs> and I did not enjoy playing at uh, Andy. What's another crap venue down there? <laughs> Crash Club. Crash and, Club. And uh, off a of Dixie Highway, off a of commercial. <laughs> Call them out. Which is now a uh, business, thank <laughs> God. But no, I think Foo Bar and Foo Bar was kind of like our home away from home. I mean, it was like down the street. It was all the time after shows. We'd have like little parties at our apartment, which was not even half a mile That's cool. from there. So it was it was cool. Foo Bar. Cool. She was right. <laughs> Very cool. Um, and Which then is now a paint oh. store, by the way. Oh, <laughs> <Williams>. <laughs> and uh, ever since you guys went on uh, with Beeler Brothers and became more of a do-it-yourself band, um, what recommendation do you have for any band that's out there and trying to make it? That's the best thing that they can do. Well, I mean, you got to find the right people, and, and obviously the business right now has changed from when we started. When we started with MCA, it was more they put us in a van and trailers as you're going to tour for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. and build that way right now honestly if it's all about the damn song and it's it's really I it sucks that I have to say something like that because I don't think labels really back the band anymore this the song sticks cool and if it doesn't then they t yank them off the road where areas bands you know when we started we were out there for five months mm -hmm. touring heavily with anybody and any anybody you know anywhere go anywhere with anyone and then they released the first single and then it kind of took off from there but now honestly you have to really focus on your songwriting and unless you unless you just want to be whatever you, you know, I do whatever you want basically but it, it, the business has changed so much and if you think you can do it honestly stay in college go to school that's because I mean right now the music business is so fickle no one really buys CDs anymore I mean you mm -hmm. can work on a CD for a year and a half and somebody can get it for free the next day right so yeah. that's basically what it comes down to you write the right song write the right if song. not you not it's not don't happening. do it <laughs> cool um then a uh, question i always ask uh as i spoke earlier like rock Funger deals with helping the homeless and using music kind of as the driving force how do you feel music can make a difference in poverty um hurricane victims and any kind of other cause well i mean i'm not exactly sure how uh, maybe i know our music has affected people like who's had uh cancer who's had like any you know like a really bad illness or sickness we've helped a lot of people through their most worst times in their lives you know like relationships divorce whatever you want to call it i mean I, 
not sure exactly how. I mean, unless you do charity shows where you can, you know, unless you're by listening to music, it's going to help your poverty. Right. Because you can't eat the CD. But, right. <laughs> but you know, I, I think, uh, you know, to stay strong, I think, I mean, lyrics that people think, you know, read the lyrics and they can, it, it helps them, you know, maybe take that step further to maybe hopefully better themselves, you know. But I know our music has helped a lot of people. Songs like Alive and Kick In yeah. has really helped a lot of people as far as, you know, anything, you know, whatever bad situation they were in you know? yeah, cool. and so which is probably the best reward we've had you know we've not had a gold record or a platinum record but we've definitely helped a lot of people and that's really that really means a lot that's to a us lot. so it's that's really cool. cool and um like orlando is probably a second home for you guys you have any last words for the people of orlando and anybody come to the show tonight well i, I totally thank you to actually jrr who's uh, one of the best stations that's really supported nonpoint in Orlando has been, I mean, every show here has never been dull. It's always been amazing. I'm expecting a good show tonight. I want to thank the city of Orlando and everybody for coming out and supporting us. Cool. And uh, where can people go to find your music and find On Point? Huh? Uh, local store, BeetleBrothers.com, Amazon.com, iTunes. Okay. That's the best places I can show you. Awesome. I'll tell you. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks again for taking the time to talk to us and wish you all the best of luck on the upcoming tour and everything you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you. I just got